In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called determining if graphs have symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and origin. We have three graphs to examine and I'll start with x-axis symmetry. So in order for a graph to have x-axis symmetry, every point above the x-axis should be mirrored below the x-axis. So in the first graph every point above has a mirror image point below. So this does have x-axis symmetry. For the second one, every point above has a mirror image below. So it also has x-axis symmetry. The last example does not have x-axis symmetry. And then similarly for y-axis symmetry, if we look at the y-axis, to have y-axis symmetry, then every point to the left of the y-axis would have to have a corresponding point to the right, which doesn't happen in the first example, but does happen in the second example. Every point to the left of the y-axis has a mirror point on the right of the axis, so it does have y-axis symmetry. And the third example, again, does not have y-axis symmetry. And that leaves us with origin symmetry. The origin being 0, 0 would mean that every point on the line has a mirror image across the origin. So a point here on the first one would have to have a mirror image across the origin. Over here, it does not, so no origin symmetry. The second one, though, every point does have a mirror image across the origin, or this way. So it does have origin symmetry. And the last example here also has origin symmetry because every point does have a mirror image across the origin. Here, here. So it has just origin symmetry.